Smith on my screen. Uh oh. So we're working on Monday orders here, which Larry did on Saturday. So what we'll do is get all these printed out this morning. And, uh, usually he's here. Yeah. You know, when things have gone wrong, Larry's fault. Always. Your fault, too, when you're not here. I know. <laughs> A lot of Australia orders today. Mm. And people always hit me up. Um, I do ship all over uh, with all the orders, guys, so... Remember, the hats still come signed. Um, the hats come signed. The J cups, the smart shakers come signed. And, uh, stuff I need to go pick up at Stoke though. Next door some of the shirts are in. Nice. I think when they get the orders and they have the sticker on. Well I think they're happy but a few people we saw at the expo or even at the base they actually removed the sticker very carefully and re-stick it on something else. So I was asking you if you they actually want to use it huh? Yeah they want to reuse it yeah. What do you think of that? I think that's cool. What are you saying? I should put them inside? Well, we should ask them. Um, we should ask people that ask the people on camera. Would this you write a special discount uh, coupon they get? Yeah, no, this is a new card. We didn't have that last we'll time. We'll put some old samples in there. Yeah, you should ask people on YouTube if they would rather have this sticker either on the package or inside in that way. Well, I want also people to know, Dave, you know, we still have the old product for sale at a discounted price. You still have some? Yeah. So right now, uh, like you can get all these pre-workouts and everything for the old purple, you know, for 20 bucks. Right. Obviously, this is a new one on Cutler Nutrition only, but... In which section is that on the side again? It's in a clearance or a discount okay, okay. section. Alright, so I think it says clearance on the... Yeah. And no code, no code needed, obviously. Right. No code. So, yeah. No codes needed. And I'm signing still all these cups. The smart shape signature cup. They get a real signature on them. Slow monkey, medium blue. Two slow monkey, few extra large blue. Old Monkey's still popular, bro. Yeah? Yeah. So so tell the people uh, on YouTube what's what's got, what what do you have Brian working on next with the next uh, shirt design? <laughs> Full time bodybuilding. For real, you guys. The graphic artist we actually use actually working on he told me himself he's working on a design right now, so that should be <laughs> that should be coming out soon. Full time bodybuilder. <laughs> do you think you're part of the, the full time bodybuilder crew? <laughs> Bro, as we say that, <laughs> what? Look what it says. Oh, shit, too full. This guy, body. Billy Brennan. <laughs> full time bodybuilder. Oh my god. What are the odds? We, we didn't even look at the label. You just no, happened to... Isn't that funny? Holy shit. Billy Brennan, 
we just placed an order. Oh, I'm gonna get you know what? Fuck him. I'm gonna give him two stickers. How's Dude, that? As I just brought this up, this is totally on by accident, you guys. He's he, in New Hampshire, so he found the label. That guy says full time bodybuilder. What do you think about that when people constantly say I found it funny. I just I hope that shirt becomes the most popular shirt you ever sold. I think that'd be so so, so cool. I don't think that will happen though. What's the most popular shirt design you ever sold? Um, the classic Cutler tee because it's the first. Oh uh, yeah. What do you think about it? Well, I like it, but so do you actually run like queries or skews on what you sell the most in a month? Or you just kind of know on top of your head because you have to reorder. I know. Yeah. I'm sure. I know. Yeah. Because obviously I'm hands-on. Yeah, yeah, more yeah. Than any probably business guy that is out there having a shirt company right now. Yeah, you're in charge of reordering all the SKUs and everything. So. I do all the purchasing, everything. Yeah. So, I'm super hands-on with my, all my businesses. Yeah. No fucking around. Well, I mean, I, you do enough fucking around that we can't. Um, yeah, we can't afford to have you have anyone else fucking around. <laughs> I am launching the vitamin this week, too. The new vitamin. Oh? Yeah. What's it called? Safeguard. Really? Yeah. I, I didn't know you were coming out with a new vitamin. I'm launching a new one. Oh. You know where Larry put all this stuff. Nice. We're launching a new multivitamin. Okay. So cognition and... Safeguard. This is Rebecca's order. She's in Hanover, PA, and we ship her two pro packs. This is, that's a great deal, though. Yeah. Twenty bucks. Can be dead with a, sti a stick. We are going to give her the opportunity to purchase the new stuff. I always appreciate everyone's support let's get it all right He's got tons of shoes at the house. I mean, no, kid size. <laughs> oh, okay. You know yeah, these kids are is? under 14. It's, What's the, it? it's the foster kids program. Okay. So my boss started this four years ago. This year we're doing 1,200 kids. Oh, for school? Yeah, we're to That's so awesome. Yes. And then mom and I just wow. I'll be here all day and have a So you actually hand the, pro the products right to the yep. kids? They get brand new shoes. Well, what I'm going to do is they get like a big exactly. so they still get exactly. and what this and what So you're not looking exactly. for the money that like, goes directly to yes. them, like gift yes. cards too? Or? Uh, I don't really know how the gift card thing would work. One, but all the money to us goes to the CASA Foundation and they go purchase it with them. Because they're the ones that have the exact sizes, so the exact shoes that, you know, you can't buy all the size fives. Or, you know, I just you always know. worry when I give money to um, charities, like where the money goes, you know? Go to the right Okay, friends, I'm booked back here. Let me see if I can leave someone up and get back to you on Wednesday. That's really nice. Where did you go? Back to school. It's fun. It's like a locker room. Well, it's like the only time they ever get pampered. Like, they never get stuff like that. Like, little girl's hair before, and she's like, that's awesome. Dylan's helping all day. He's going to help fit shoes on kids. Is he really? Mm -hmm. He's going to put them in at door and ones. 
Oh, nice. Good ones to donate all the backpacks. How many? 1,200? Yeah. Last year we did 700. Well, so, so that's only a few of them, obviously. Mm -hmm. Then they bring them all here eventually? Yeah, so these are the done ones because they're filled with school supplies. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. They have to, at my boss's house, with all the stuff. And then as we finish them, we stack them up in here next door. It's always the first weekend in August, the first Sunday of August every year. Okay. Very nice. We get a bunch of barbers that come volunteer and help us too. We get the homies fresh days. Oh. I can't do that. But the school doesn't start until when? Oh, they go back middle August. I didn't go back till September. Either. I know my kids start first week of August, dude. Huh? They first week of August. Yeah. yeah. I don't know why they do that though. They should stay in longer. So your kids start the first week, first week of August. Do they really? Yeah. Who wants to go back to school in August? It's, no, the, it's, it's still the so summer. Hot. It's so ass backwards. They should be in school till yeah. June. Yeah. Remember, exactly. we used to go back to school right around Labor Day. Yes. We used to go right? back to Yeah, September. Last of the month. I heard that they did it around testing. Like the way that their like, exams were and stuff that they did around. Wow. That stinks. When they got back from break. Well, it still makes no sense. You should be in school. Love the kicks. Thanks, Buttercup. Love the kicks. Mm -hmm. Always styling, huh? Yep. This is what I bought Angie for her birthday. You know, that hair guy. Baller. <laughs> hmm? He was saying this is what he got Angie for her you birthday. You didn't even notice Julia's hair, bro. It's brown. That's no, the way it was darker before. Darker than it used to be. Was it? I made it brown. This is my natural color. I like it. I'm going natural. Are you think this is now for for it? Like you're not gonna go back to being blonde again? That's a good color for you. I get more compliments on this, like my natural hair color. Yeah. Blonde. Right now, I have a little dirty hair. It's good, but it's less thin. You either match your stuff. And I'm gonna go to Josh's house. Are you off there? I'm going to go to class. 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 Gray. I want the black one. Purple one. So, don't get some crazy. The one you want to do. All the price of the other. Are you kidding me? No. Girl, thanks. Yeah, I know that. I know some of the last people. Remember, Andrew had the oldest black one. Because the black one? It moved. It's singing up on entry right now. That's pretty. That's what I want. You're right. I want my name again. I want my name again. How long ago did you buy that? A year ago, for sure. I think I bought it when we went away for her birthday in New York. Yeah. We stayed at the Rock Hotel. My brother took a client. He would understand sacrifice. He wants something bad enough to do anything for him. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. I was thinking, how in the world did it hurt it? No, once I cut it, I'm not really young. So you just. So you just like. Yeah. Is it good looking again? Do you do your eyebrows, Dave? Uh. Or no. How about those little. Those. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The nose trimmer. Thing. Yeah, yeah, and then there's attachment for the eyebrows and stuff. But Kim has to do it. I can't do it myself. See the final product. There you go. Pretty again. <laughs> yeah. This is our pre, our pre-workout haircut. So, just tell me again what you just said like two seconds ago. We just ate at 12 o'clock, and now it's three o'clock. You like, we gotta go eat again. Yes, because we eat every three hours. You're back to being full time. Dude, normally you're the one itching like, oh my god, I'm so hungry. <laughs> 
<laughs> Judy is behind you laughing. I've seen you run around like, he just oh knows he needs a haircut every oh my five God, seconds. I need to eat right now. <laughs> I don't know what he needs more, a haircut or to eat the all energy, the time. It's been three hours, that's what I, I preach. I, mean, I know. You have to eat every three hours. Dude, you probably caught yourself because you thought, oh my goodness, has it been three hours? I know. You should be hungry. Well, I know because we were supposed to be here at three and then we came at 2.30 and now it's about yeah. three, so yeah. Yeah, he's hungry. Yeah. So. Julia, it was good to see you again. <laughs> all right, old food. Really? Yeah, it's great. They have salad bar, hot food. They got everything. Probably have a salad, something light. Uh -huh. Probably like a salad, something light, easy to eat. What is that? This barbecue chicken salad. Oh. The chicken's already in it? Yeah. Okay. You'll eat that. But that might not be enough for a full time bodybuilding, you know? I have a shake in the car. <laughs> oh, yeah, <that's> <laughs> I always forget, uh, I always forget that carry the shakes around just in case huh? just in case yeah back up I just know about full time <laughs> Oh, okay. That's, oh, yeah, there you go. Cool. This is your favorite thing, Sal. You and I, we used to go up our, our salads. Yeah, Cheesecake Factory. Best salads. Think so? I think so. Do you know that Cheesecake Factory is less expensive than Firehouse? I know. Dude. A bubble is more money than eating at Cheesecake Factory. Bucks. 25 bucks plus tax is plus it tip. Really? $25 plus tax plus tip. What, I just did think, per, what did Per say about that? He doesn't care. Huh? He doesn't care. But I'm just saying, you can't compare Firehouse to Cheesecake. Come on, Cheesecake is a lot better food. I think. Yeah, you're right. Right? The quality of food. Yeah. Huh? I don't feel like eating hot. They got rice. It's hot in Vegas, dude. Huh? It's really hot in Vegas. Well, what does that mean? You can't eat as much, or? Like, it's better for me to eat salads. Why Fresh. Do it goes down more easy. I don't know. I think that's good. Yeah? Cool. Don't ask. I'm not. You're gonna ask me what this is, right? <laughs> what is it? What flavor is Ultra Paradise? Oh yeah. Let me smell it though. Hmm. Smells good. What do you think that is? I, uh, like a tropical fruit or something? I don't know. People always ask me why I don't have a shaker cup. You save them for your fans and well, customers. Well, how many how many shake cups do you think I have in my warehouse? Ten thousand. Bro, I have like fifty thousand in that warehouse. <laughs> yeah, that was just in Vegas alone. Wow. It doesn't include Pennsylvania. The teriyaki boy cup. This is my. I gotta find some store. You got a new spoon today.
Improvise. Let me text Mark and see if he's uh, at this gym. You think they'll let you in? I'm with you, of course. Not if I was by myself. No. This is the Dennis Wolf and Mark Anthony territory. Time to get huge. Yeah. All right, back day. Your favorite day of the week. That's right. Why do you, why do you think it's your favorite day? Because that's all I have it back. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I used to tell you that. Actually. I'm only saying that because I know that's what you say. <laughs> I'm thinking I want to jump in and deadlift with these guys right here. Ah. I think he's doing it slower since you told him. <laughs> My boy watched the video last week. Thank you. 
Yeah. 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 watch early videos of Dorian Yates in this pullover thing and man I remember thinking man if I could ever find a gym with a pullover machine and then I started training at uh, Vegas in Vegas and that's the first time I experienced using one before you know Orange County we didn't have this stuff in the crunch fitness or that world gym I used to train at so but I used to actually do this every time I did back too remember I was training here for a lot of Olympias this is the gym I would come to back, back and legs at. Yeah. You remember. We'd see Dennis Wolf all the time here. Yeah, but I lived, when I lived on the strip, oh. and I trained for 2011, this is where I was training. I took a lot of my pictures over there, but this was this was like a separate room before. Now they both it up. It's all more commercialized now. We, we trained here with Dr. Zach once after your show also, remember? this at that crunch that I trained at in that kaleidoscope plaza. Alright, so 45 to 60 seconds rest between each set. That's what I'm working on. started with this movement whenever I did back training but I usually did the we didn't have this machine we had the I did the no well yeah you know pull down yeah they really yanks the lats like front all lights up you know what about pull up machine I like pull, I like I love that machine you use it started with it Chris Cormier would love that. Yeah, he loves that. Yep. See, I would never. 
never train like that. This is how you, this is how you guys train. I wouldn't train like that. <laughs> Too slow for me. Whose style training is that? As good as you were, maybe you would have been better. You'll never know. Unless you do a comeback. I think I did alright. <laughs> yeah, you did alright. Right. You could have been even better, boss, if you win <laughs> fucking eight Olympians. It's too slow for me, I was saying. Oh, yeah. Come on. But I also could have been tighter, my boy. Let me reference that. Ten. I think it's really good to bring in the lower when you do that timer under tension hold. Yeah. It's hard to do it without a training partner though. Yeah, it is. What's good about it though? It's just what's up here. If you don't, you're, you're going to yeah. pull your Frank Callis, your bicep. Yeah, that's, that's why when I failed, I just took like 27 minutes to go again because I, I never used it. How to shit outside? Cause well, I'm gonna yeah. take cognition right now. Yeah, why? You need to be smarter. Yeah, <laughs> I take that all day. I, I actually, for a lot of people that don't know, I took a hiatus from Instagram so I can read more books. Wow. So no more Instagram or Facebook. I have a book. It's in my truck. I have to grab it. Is it a comic book? Good one, Dave. <laughs> Let's see, he says an hour. Ooh. Huge says an hour. He says, talk to me in an hour and let me know. Who says that? You. You said it. Actually, I'm gonna grab the book really quick. I won't. Or actually, I'll tell him. I'm reading The Way of the Seal by, uh, I forget his name, but it's called Way of the Seal. Well, people are asking me about the CBD line. That's top secret. <laughs> right now. We're trying to we're trying to sell the cultivation. That's uh, Way of the Seal by Mark Devine. Mm. Right now, really good book. You should read it. Uh, the CBD stuff is is going really well. We're the we got a head start on all you guys who think you already got the head start. But <laughs> he's gonna have to make a final call on that one. How you been, Dave? I'm good. Busy. Hold this for me, will you please? Here's a second one, Dave. Everyone that ordered these tank tops want them signed today. Why? Is that a special deal? I don't know what They just asked for it. Did you say something? No? No, not at all. Oh, funny. All the same logo, too. Those are full-time bodybuilding tank top. Yes. <laughs> that, you wore that today? Yesterday, yeah. Full-time. There's only one full-time bodybuilder in our house. In a tangy. Yeah. What? Hold on. Let me, let me get behind the camera. Oh, uh, no. Yes. <laughs> Fold this for me. Oh, your, your hand. Okay, yeah. It's okay. You're big, giant mitt. All right, let Dave. Come on, fold this. Oh, okay, fold this? Fold it? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm so I'm behind the camera, guys, right now. <laughs> this is our raw footage. All those years spent in the Mac Muscle store. This proper way to hold uh, uh, to fold a shirt. I could work in a gap any well, day. Well, we know when we shut down Jay Cutler TV, what you're going to be doing. Yeah, there you go. We're not shutting down Cutler TV. Are you crazy? What are those people going to do every day if they don't watch our stuff? Right? Uh-oh. Are they both double XL? Yeah. They're both doubles, yeah. That's our Kevin. What's the name? guy's name? Kevin Miller? Is that the kid's name? Look on the front of you. What's that, that sheet say? Uh, yeah, Kevin Miller. From uh, PA, Norristown, okay. PA, yeah. So Kevin, here's your shirts. 
signed. That I just signed. You can see that's officially signed. Yeah, and the full time bodybuilders fold them. Just get them folded and then take the camera back because I'm not a camera guy. Yeah. Are you shaking? No. People are like, hey. Okay. All right. I told Dave his shirt was a little wrinkled. It's actually getting better as you wear it. Yeah. All right, so Larry, you're back in, back in duty, huh? Yeah. Tell uh, tell our viewers what you're working on right now. Right now. At what time is it right now? Six, six, eleven, fifteen. Who's that, Colin? I don't know. I'm talking to some manufacturers in different countries. Okay. For some new items. We're doing some exclusive clothing potentially. Oh. Potentially. Hello. Nice. For the Olympia. Ooh. And so on. I don't know what that is. As long special, as you get it in time. I think we'll be able to. Specialty items? Like yeah, special yeah. edition? Nice. I think the big one, though, that I, that I think should really, which I think could work, we just have a small window, is like socks. And they're American made no, socks. Okay. It's really, okay. really I good appreciate like, fabric. Really I'm not going to be rude. Wow, anymore, cool. So we'll okay. see. We're going to try. Thank you, though. Nice. These guys usually work really fast, so we'll see what happens. Trying to revamp the brand and get more stuff done. Awesome. So we'll see. Very cool. I was just thinking about that the other day, by the way, before you sign off. What? Um, no. The iconic. No, no, the wrong person. That that couch with that backdrop. Um, where was that? MD. That was MD. In the store. Muscle, yeah. What was that place called? Max Muscle Venice. Max Muscle Venice. Because we were talking about I'm not gonna give potentially that, setting up like a thing for you. Yeah. Guys here. And I was like, it would be really dope to kind of bring that vibe back with the checkered board in the back, or that checkered black and white. Yeah. So I don't know. Just that was thought, what I'm doing, but there we get some room over there. Yeah. What could, do you think? We could put a couch and a nice banner and do some interviews yeah. right here. So that's an iconic place. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's gone now. I know, but bringing that whole that feel back would be yeah. really cool. He was talking about the back, you know, back in the day in the Max Muscle when we were doing the mess, uh, the, the Muscle Beach TV interview for MD with the couch and the banner behind, you know. I just thought it's an iconic, you know, setup for for Dave when he's been doing that. So for the new, did you guys even find, did you figure out the name yet for that segment you're doing? There's a ton of suggestion. I saw I, that. It didn't get as many views as I would have liked, though. I know, but the, there's a ton of comments. Yeah, the comments were definitely a lot of a lot of ideas. It yeah. just a lot of people love the full time stuff because of who's behind the camera, you know. Yeah, so, of course. Someone had said to me they actually came inside the gym in person to say, "Tell Jay, my vote is for Cutler Critiques." Cutler Critiques, that's good. That's not bad. That's good. Yeah. yeah, but I don't, I don't know if I'm critiquing; it's reporting. I know, but he made he wanted me to tell you, <laughs> so I'm telling you. He wanted me to tell you what? Tell me what? What I just told you. Cutler critiques. He said, "Tell Jay I, that's my suggestion." Yeah. So. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what. Uh, yeah. What do you think? Yeah, I was expecting more um, more views than that too. Actually, I'm kind of disappointed. Maybe maybe there's too many out there, just like you said. It's is this is a two fourteen Cutler belt, large. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I love the shoes to large. Oh. All right. So every belt that comes through the site too, guys. Maybe I can show these guys this. Yeah. So check this out. Oh, today's the belt giveaway. I need to pick the winners for that too. Mm -hmm. about that. Do you see how many comments I asked for a thousand? You see how many I got? No, because I want four thousand comments. Jeez. That's the only issue is that I don't see what's going like how. I got. It's kind of cool thousand. though because it just goes in the abyss and then yeah. it's like uh, in the abyss. Yeah. How are you gonna be the the leader of the enterprise if you have no social media? You know what's really cool? Most. What's really cool that I've noticed, a lot of the stuff we've ever done, I don't ever look at it afterwards. As an example, when we did, when I was running Hardeen, the dispensary, when I did those exit bags, when it came in, I had already thought about the next exit bag, and I was like, these are so dope, and I just forgot about them, because I think that... But you're already ahead? Well, you have to be. I, that's what I learned from him. Like, yeah. It's just a, like a pure moment of like you can't really settle. It's like... You talk about guys who win the Olympia, they're not thinking, they won it, but they're already thinking about, I mean, most guys should be thinking about the next year. Yeah, yeah. Or what to do, so. You move on right away. Yeah, so. I, I was know. already thinking how, after I won it, what was next. But I that's it, but I think that mentality is something that we've always talked about and I've carried it a little bit, so. It keeps you, it keeps you ahead of the curve, that's for sure. Way mm -hmm. ahead of the curve. 
So yeah, five boxes on the floor, and then we're thinking about racks, and then after racks, it's like, okay, warehouse, and then he got the warehouse finally. So yeah. It's pretty pretty cool to see that evolve. Yeah. We'll get there one day. Oh yeah. The Mickey Mouse Club will end. I was just gonna say one day it won't be a Mickey Mouse operation. <laughs> What do you think about the Mickey Mouse Club? The romper room? We're <laughs> <laughs> huh? running this place like a romper room. Is that room. bad that we... You say that, I don't say that. Anything for this show? <laughs> I think it should be motivation for a lot of you guys. Though. That's fine. Mondays, bro. Yeah? You see what happens on a Monday, right? Big day. Do you ever notice how fast I get going when I'm doing shit? And I'm just spouting off to Larry, do that, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know how he does it. What do you mean? It's like you're always onto something else. I don't know how he keeps up with your train I'm of thoughts. I'm ten steps ahead. I know. I know. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, man. he's probably used to it. But though. okay, it's set, so it's seven forty. It's one hundred and four degrees, by the way. Oh, yeah. And uh, wait, it's Monday, and what's my favorite day of the week? Yeah. Are what, you sad? What, are you sad that it's almost over? <laughs> I'm actually get sad Monday. <laughs> yeah. But you know what the good thing is? Is normally, Dave, I'm leaving the office at seven forty, and I did not get my training in. But, so you're you know, normally I'm texting you and I'm like, dude, I'm just leaving the office and I still have to train tonight. But yeah. number one, I missed the gym on a busy Monday night. I went, you know, as we left the gym earlier, it was like. It was getting busier. Yeah. So we went to the office, did some shit, went and got a haircut, ate again. Then we went to the gym right in the middle, kind of the afternoon. Checked out a couple of dealerships lunch. real quick. Yeah. <laughs> I had a thought of let me about buy a car for a second. But. <laughs> They want me to come down and they wanted me to test these BMWs, the new 760, I don't know what it's called, 760 four-door. Uh -huh. But I knew if I, you know, Dave, I know better now because if I would have gone there to, to test drive, you know what would have happened. You would have upgraded. Well, I just would have had another optional vehicle. And right know. now we're downgraded. <laughs> yeah. You know what it is? I've bought the best of everything. People have always asked me, what have I had? I said, I've had pretty much all the cars, from sports cars to luxury cars, and now I'm just like, I drive a Suburban every day. <laughs> Love it. Is there a car you never had that you that's on your bucket list? Yes, that McLaren 720. Wow. So you McLaren people out there, I know a couple of you guys have hit me up. I love that McLaren, but let's talk a little bit about Mondays, because this is the title of our, our video. Okay. Monday's the only day. And I got Brian working on the full-time bodybuilder shirt, but we also gonna do a Monday shirt. <laughs> just for you people out there for YouTube. Because YouTube, I've started a whole new population of fans. You, you, you sure did. And I traveled to Buffalo and I had at least 10 people mention the channel. And, you know, then we got orders coming in that say full-time bodybuilder. They call themselves full-time. <laughs> <laughs> we saw it today, which was a total coincidental thing. That's funny. And, uh, you know, I always talk about what drives me. And you've known me since 2001. Yeah. And I wanted to be the best bodybuilder in the world. And you always were like, man, like, how do you do it, right? How do you just stay training and travel? And do you think you could travel and be as strict as you are? Like, no. You understand why? You run, well, understand why I run on, like, zero time schedule. Because how could I actually plan out? It's like this weekend I had my, my Cutler Club live feed at one and the flight was delayed leaving Buffalo and when I laid over in Detroit. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I'm gonna sk have to skip this live or do it from the airport on my laptop, you know? Yeah. And I don't schedule things because everything kind of rotates. Like Larry today was asking me, hey, okay, we gotta meet with the CBD guys tomorrow, right? And then he's like, what time? And I'm like, don't talk to me until I can figure out. And I just looked at my schedule for tomorrow. And I just have to come to flush my my water heater in the morning. And, you know, I run out of my office at home. And I run at my office near the strip. So it's kind of like universal. And that's what's nice about having an e-commerce business. Where I don't necessarily have to be at physically at the office on a daily basis. But you see as I go, st stuff piles up. And I handle crazy all customer service so anyone that's getting emails from me especially you people that uh purchased recently or you know you guys notice it's signed j i usually put just put the letter j so the signature to my emails is always j not necessarily j a y sometimes i do put it in there like to the parents or what i have a parents that reach out to me today about an order and 
you know, they haven't got it yet. They're in, uh, they're in Sweden and they're super strict about their customs, you know. So you international people that do order from jcutler.com uh, or Cutler Nutrition, we do ship all over the world, but you have to be aware that customs sometimes on their discretion decides, hey, we're gonna charge this person duties. It's not my, it's not my fault. Like, even for me, I try to like, you know, be careful of how much the product is, cost is uh, for the customer so they don't pay a ton of duties. But at the same time, you guys gotta understand, I'm not the duties officer. Once the package leaves the US, it can be held in customs if they say, okay, we don't wanna give this to the person based on what the contents are, whether it be, you know, a shirt or a supplement or a belt or whatever. But you know, I'm signing all those items I mentioned, the Killet Tees, uh, the Smart Shaker Cups, all hats that are signed underneath. I had only one customer complain he didn't want the hat signed under the bill. Really? Yeah. Um, and I signed all the photographs and posters. Um, what else am I signing? So belts, Smart Shake Cups, Killet T-shirts, and all hats underneath. And any photo or whatever is all signed on by me. And uh, you know that's you know that's pretty much like how I love running my business. I've run it like that since day one. And I live about 30 minutes from my main office where I'm shipping every day. And now Larry's back helping me, which he was the original guy with me. Um, you know, we were heavy into the the cultivation side uh, from when it was medically. You know, now it's recreational uh, cannabis here in Vegas. And right now the the company's in. in kind of a transfer right now and acquisition so we're still working on all that um, which is in our daily so I, I grabbed Larry out of that now and he's in helping me with the branding we're going to launch a whole new uh, more line um, in-depth line with the Cutler brand which we could call it something like Four Crowns or do something with it you know no, it's good idea. we're not really sure if we're going to how we're going to brand it it's going to be under the athletic brand but it will still be uh, it's a little more um Next scale. Level. Yeah, yeah, next level. Um, so, Mondays are our days, and we've got a lot of training. I got back in today and shot that for YouTube, so you guys will see that soon. Ran into Mark Anthony. Yeah, and it's Andy. Good to, good to yeah. catch him, yeah. Big Andy. Um, but, beautiful in Vegas, man. The temperature's going down as we head up to my house. It's down to 102 now. So, I'll get home about 8 o'clock. Um, probably get up, get a meal. Dave's gonna head back to Cali. Yep. And uh, you know, on to the next. And you guys will see me in California. Probably, probably after you'll see me in the San Jose. Will be the next time you guys will see some YouTube videos. Yep. And then, and then we'll see you guys in Venice and Orange County after that. There may be some collabs. I'm gonna try to do. Well, I'm gonna try to get Mike Rashid. Big boy reached out to me about doing some stuff. He's nice. Um, I'd love to roll possibly into CT Fletch. I just don't think I'll get it all on that trip. Yeah. But maybe some good collabs with those guys. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, I was supposed to be doing Larry Wheels this week. But he just, actually, I didn't tell you this. You know, he had the bicep injury, so I don't think he's coming out here. Um, but he did he did uh, mention, you know, to coming out to the Middle East and actually doing something with him out there. But wow. I'm a huge Larry Wheels fan, guys, by the way. So since day one. Uh, he's always been uh, someone that's impressed me with his yeah. crazy lifts and all that. But uh, so we'll keep an eye out for that stuff, and uh, you know, keep pushing their Mondays, guys. Let's uh, let's keep feeding each other. Give us motivation. Comment below about your Mondays, and maybe tell a couple stories about why you guys are starting to love Mondays. I've transformed a lot of people, bro. <laughs> Do you like Mondays? I like. You know, to be honest with you, man, I love every day. I know. We, kind of, just talked, we were just talking about kind this of like, oh, like off that. camera. Yes. Yeah. And I said, I, you, when the first, the first month I woke up and beyond in California, I woke up like this. <laughs> With like a stupid smile on our face. I would wake yeah. up and I'd be like, oh my god, I'm in California. Yeah. So we love the West Coast. Yeah. And I'm an East Coast guy, but we love the weather. I mean, look at these mountains. Bro. I know. It's Can you beautiful. see this? Yeah. Look at the sky. This is up on the 215. We're, this is all Red Rock. We're coming up to Red Rock. Let's show Red Rock actually for the fans that never. You can see Red Rock. We're approaching it right now. So you're, they're going to be able to see why they call it Red Rock. 
And if anyone ever knows, like the undisputed pose, the poster I sell. Oh yeah, with your arms open. My arms out like yeah. this. It was actually shot in Red Rock Canyon. That's a killer. It's so poster. funny. We went hiking the other day, Dave, and and Angie's like took me down this road. I said, Angie, I shot the undisputed poster with Jason Ellis right here. Yep. So we're gonna be able to see it as we get up over this crest a little bit. You'll be able to see the red rocks. Tell me if you can see it with your camera or not. This is Red Rock Casino right here. Okay. We had my show here the first year. I remember. Did you come the first year? That Mark uh, Anthony competed. I, I think it was there, there, but I remember you had it there. Yeah. That's a, that's like a station casino. So the UFC guys all own all those. Okay. Downtown someone right there. So I just hit up Angie. And I said, hey, can we have dinner right now? And she's like, I'm going to the store. What do you want? I said, nothing. But I got to go meet with the one guy uh, at the gym to help oh, yeah. him out a little bit with his program. That's a pretty nice Kia. What is that? I don't know. I didn't. I think he made like a Stinger? sporty car, yeah. Um, yeah, so it's kind of nice, Dave, to be. Normally, this is where I'm texting you, actually, on the freeway. Oh, really? I shouldn't be texting and driving, but. I'm usually telling you, hey, I'm almost, you know, I left the office and I'm heading to the gym. You know, I usually go around 9 or 10. But yeah. It's kind of nice. I can chill tonight now. Yeah, nice. And then tomorrow starts another day, man. It's almost like our second Monday. Tuesday is like a second Monday. <laughs> and uh, I, I wish I knew, you know, that Larry Wheels thing was supposed to happen this week. But this is USA week. There's a lot of people in town. So yeah. I wish I knew. Uh, I, I probably would have maybe come to L.A., you know, but you see, I had a lot to do today. I would have been hard for me to come. Oh yeah, Monday. I mean, Not today. Monday is always just crazy, especially after coming back from the weekend. You know. Yeah. So stay tuned, guys. Comment below. Thank you guys for following along JTV. Um, keep hitting us up, okay? We love you guys and uh, stay true to us and keep uh, keep believing in the channel. We'll keep pushing it. Yep. All right.